Your Excellencies, Ambassadors of Ireland and Mexico. Mr. Minister, Monsieur le Secrétaire Général, Monsieur et Madame le Directeur, Legendary Chairman, <laughs> Members of the Jury, Timekeepers, how sad we did not get to hear your words. <laughs> members of the opposition, members of the government, assemble members of the house. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and please enjoy this evening. <laughs> this beautiful ballroom reminds me of an ancient story, a story of love, of suspicion, and of words. It unfolds in a distant past, in a land now known as Imperium. The cruel and powerful emperor of Imperium married once, a long time ago, a beautiful princess. And yet, immediately after marriage, he began to doubt. Was she really in love with him, or was she a sightful foreign spy? Plus, there was a really, really hard one involved. Yeah. Yeah. And so, he ordered his head of secret services off with her hair. Yeah. What bleak really destiny for this poor woman? How would she ever preserve her life? What did she have that the emperor couldn't find elsewhere? Her grace, her children, he would as soon marry another beautiful princess. Luckily, she had a clever idea. She called him a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The emperor was intrigued. Surely, he wouldn't be swayed with pretty words. But if he had a head of it, he wouldn't get to hear the end of the story she told so well. And so, he gave her one more day to finish her tale. And she told him another fable, and another, and another. For 1,001 nights, her words, the words she could invent and tell in her own unique way, were all that kept her alive. They were yeah. the truth, yeah. all she had. Yes, please. If we're the only have, why are you using gestures? Because we have. <laughs> Tonight, we believe words are all we have. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're not talking about a superficial sense of having. What we mean is that words are all we truly have at our disposal. That they are our, our sole means of unambiguous communication, one with another. That they are the only treasure that makes us what we are. That they are at the core of our very existence, and as such, they are the only thing we truly have that truly matters. Words are what makes the we. We as humanity, we as community, and we as humans. The government will not force the old, but not forgotten words of Sheher Our storyteller Luke will show you that words have shaped the world of mankind and set us apart from animals. Then, our philosopher Bunga will tell a tale most heartbreaking and show you that words are what connects us to communities, people, and time. We shall then hear Bill the Bar as he tells you that words are all we have deep within. And finally, Shehera's 